Welcome to the homestead. Glad you're with us. Well, we've come up midweek and it's mid-afternoon. We came to check on these little critters. Um, right now I have uh, four of them at my feet. Um, actually, three at my feet, one in my arms. I had to pick this one up because was she was trying to climb my leg. That doesn't work too good. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day, but the weather has changed. It has dropped from the 90s down into the 70s and low 80s. And so there's quite a difference this afternoon in the way it feels. So we're definitely going to have to get those tarps up on those roofs. I don't think we're going to do that today. I think we're going to do it when we have more time over the weekend. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that are very important that we take care of before we actually leave. We're going to need to hit the lawn mower across the lawn too because another three weeks with some of the areas of the grass will be way too much height on those on the grass. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do. Of course, we always have to check on the garden and these things. Yes, but uh, everything's good. That doesn't look like the raccoons even got in there. We'll check the surveillance camera but none of the feeders were disturbed. That's a blessing. That's a relief, really. Need to talk to our neighbor because uh, he needs to come and see what we've got going on here on the homestead so he can take over and do the feeding and the watering of the garden and whatnot. Anyhow, like I say, I don't know what I'm going to do, but whatever I'm going to do, let's go do it. Well, I've made it out here to the garden, and in one of the last videos I showed you the cantaloupe that was ready almost ready to be picked. Well, it's gone. Don't know where it's at. So either somebody picked it or uh, it fell off and a critter stole it. I don't know. But here's a little one that was trying to grow and it got bit. So something tried to eat my cantaloupe. There are some other cantaloupe there, but I'm kind of disappointed because I was ready to pick that one. Let's check on the other vegetables. Well, looks like I got some bell pepper growing on this uh, plant right here. And I get close to it, but there's a big gigantic web all around it and a zigzag spider at the top. So, I do not like those zigzag spiders. We're going to have to get something to kill that spider off. And uh, I'll keep looking. But it looks like I've got a lot of little, um, little one of these that are bigger that have popped up and started growing, which is a good thing. That means they got fertilized. Check on those pumpkins and see how many we've got that got fertilized. This particular uh, zucchini plant, it's dying. It looks pretty miserable all the way down. But I got this one right here that actually looks pretty good. And I've got myself a really odd shaped a zucchini growing. It got bit in the middle. I don't know how that happened. Balls on ice ice. It kind of looks like a, a weight. Um, but anyway, it's growing. I'm going to let it grow just a little bit longer. But it's always nice to know when something got fertilized. My bok choy is coming up. How lovely is that? Got a couple of kale plants that are coming up. Now if my neighbor could just keep them alive, look at that. Nice new pumpkins. Got a couple up here too. I think they're a little bit too close together. Of course this guy's doing really good. This one. This one didn't make it. Looks like my neighbor's going to have a good harvest of bell pepper because those aren't ready to be picked yet. Looks like a couple of these little tomatoes are starting to turn orange. They didn't get very big. Well, I've got these two wonderful banana trees outside. I've got two inside as well. But if they get too cold, the... Um, the, the part now, the crown at the bottom, if it gets too cold and it freezes, it will kill the banana tree. The leaves uh, 
will start to look black and stuff if they get a frost. I don't know if they're going to get a frost, but this week it's going to get down to 38 degrees at nighttime. That's too cold for a banana tree. So I'm going to wrap the banana trees with the moving blankets and uh, they said to keep them nicely watered because the moisture is um, uh, helps them. I would think the moisture would freeze, but they said no. So and when I say they, I mean the internet, whoever they are. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them. Banana tree's pretty dry. I'm gonna water him first. Did you know that a banana tree is not really a tree? It's it's a plant, and that they actually uh, die and grow back and they have little pups um, once you once you get a harvest they'll die back um, and uh, another pup will come up and when I planted this it was just four inches maybe 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 six they weren't very big they were just little tiny things like this they had a little root and they had um, a little bit of leaf on top they were about like this big four inches and so the trunk's now really big so um, I'm really pleased with them but they don't really grow in Texas but I am hoping um, to be able to keep it alive and next year get a harvest from it we'll see This particular one has two little puppies or babies that are growing from it and I'm not sure if I should try to take those out and um, replant them in a smaller container and keep them in the grow tunnel. I'm not real sure what to do about that. I don't even know how to get them. So I'm going to go look on the internet real fast um, and see what they say about those babies before I put that blanket around them. Okay, the internet says leave the pups for now. Now, I don't think we're going to get a frost, but we are going to be gone. Um, I probably should just wait it until Sunday to do this. Um, but it's supposed to get to 38, and I just want to keep it nice and warm. Um, but we're due to be back like November 10th. And that's not here back. That's back in the States. And um, the first frost sometimes hits around the 7th. So... I don't know what's going to happen to these guys, but I want to just keep them as warm as possible because even though the leaves will die off, um, if I can keep that trunk and that crown um, alive, uh, they said that it will come back and sprout in the spring new leaves. Remember, I started from a little guy, so I don't want to start over again like that because they've, they're really nice. Inside, they should be fine through the winter, but I'm still going to go ahead and blanket their their bucket um, anyway there you go protecting my banana trees thanks for watching god bless y'all going back to the city now you be sure to like share and press the notification bell and uh, do us a favor follow us along even if they're little tiny videos because we want to stay in the algorithm during the three weeks we're gone and then when we get back we're going to do some big chores and big jobs and and uh, and fill our content with with cool stuff again. I don't know that any of it was cool, but thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And so we'll see you next time on the homestead. Bye bye now.